pharmacy and pharmacology. These two career paths might seem similar, but there are some key differences, and that's what we'll be discussing in today's video. Hi there, I am Ijoma, a pharmacist and content creator. What's the difference between pharmacy and pharmacology? I saw this comment on a recent post and I thought I should discuss or address this. So let's dive in and clear up any confusion about the differences between the both of them. Pharmacist. Think of pharmacists as the medication go to people in the pharmacy. They are the ones who dispense your medications prescribed by doctors and advise patients on how to use them or take them correctly and safely. The pharmacists are knowledgeable about how drug works, how they interact with each other and potential side effects. So they use this knowledge that they have to answer patient questions, ensure that they receive their medication at the correct dosage. Pharmacists typically work in a pharmacy, hospital or clinics directly interacting with patients and also you find pharmacists in research settings. Now, pharmacologists. Pharmacologists on the other hand are scientists who study the effects of drugs on living Things. So they work in labs researching how this medication will work in the body and how to develop new drugs. So they may also design and conduct clinical trials to test the safety and effectiveness of these new drugs. So you wouldn't find pharmacologists, typically they don't work directly with patients. Let's talk about education and training. Both pharmacists and pharmacologists you need a solid foundation in science so you have to have a science background all right so already in your high school you have a science background so most in some other country go on to pursue bachelor's degree in biology chemistry or related field however their paths diverge after this path a pharmacist go on to earn a pharmd degree and afterwards chooses to specialize in a particular aspect of pharmacy while for pharmacologists you might either take a phd or some would even opt for pharmd and after like go and specialize in pharmacology right or medical science and from there go up and take a master's so it really depends some countries mostly have b farm and not farm d the years and duration typically depends on the routes that you choose to take For salary and job outlook, it's important to remember that salaries can vary significantly depending on your location, especially when considering the cost of living in that particular place. When you are considering countries with high cost of living, the United States offers some of the highest salaries for pharmacists globally, according to my research the last time I checked. Pharmacists earn annually around $119,000 on an average and pharmacologist ninety six thousand dollars on an average so uh, i only did for the us um it's interesting i also found some um insights on what that looks like in nigeria because i'm aware of what pharmacists an average pharmacist typically ends in nigeria but for pharmacologists i was not really sure so i had to check online it's quite interesting to see that both of them offer the range are not so far from each other and in while i was searching for i'll show you some job offer i saw online for the role of a pharmacist and pharmacology i would say it's not the best but it's interesting to see that there are almost there's there are some offers that were ridiculous for pharmacology because i've seen one for ninety thousand, saw so some for hundred so 150 so let's say an average for a pharmacology should be around 120 and it's sad that the earning capacity could be better for professionals in Nigeria, right? The most important thing you should ask yourself, like what I checked and what, because I did some research before doing this video, is that job projection. So when it comes to the job projection, pharmacy jobs are expected to decline slightly while the demand for pharmacology is projected to surge by 17%. I've made several videos on why pharmacy, a lot of people, why that might be the case. You can check this video here. Let's talk about specializations opportunities. So for pharmacy, in most advanced countries, you, you would choose like a specialization, whether you want to specialize in oncology, 
pediatrics while a pharmacologist you can specialize in to toxicology biotechnology medicinal um, chemistry drug design things that has to do with drug design etc so now the essential skills what are the skills that a pharmacist would typically need and a pharmacologist for a pharmacist communication is key it cannot even be overemphasized you need to have the right way you communicate with your patients because you know that you are the front you are the front you are the one that is facing the patient you have that direct contact with your patient so you need to be able to communicate effectively in a way that your patients will understand break down complex drug information into simpler terms for your patients to understand right so communication is very important i remember that i made a, this video with another pharmacist recently and we were talking about how that when it comes to this this is one thing that we wish could be added to the curriculum in pharmacy school because it's not just about knowing all these drugs and all, but how do you communicate effectively so you know if you want to uh, watch that video in there that i believe that video was quite insightful you can check here or here and so another thing for a pharmacist is attention to details you want to pay attention to details because you don't want to give your patient the wrong drug or medication you want to ensure your patient's safety and of course teamwork is very important critical thinking because you want to be able to assess and um, potential drug interactions and as well as address patient concerns effectively so for a pharmacologist because you are going to deal with a lot of data drawing conclusion from the data you will need strong analytical skills or you need a problem solving you need to develop your problem solving skills because this would help you to overcome challenges when it comes to medication development so now let's discuss work environments. For a pharmacist, you're going to work in you're working in a fast-paced environment most of the time. You're always on your feet all day long, interacting with patients and other healthcare professionals. That's for a pharmacist. For a pharmacologist, you would work in a laboratory and you spend long hours conducting experiments and analyzing data. Remember that it's a lifelong learning journey. It never stops, right? I'm a pharmacist, but currently I am taking a master's and not in pharmacy. It's always an ever-changing field. So don't be so hard on yourself. Choose one that excites you the most. You can do more research. You can there are pretty much information online. You can check them out. You can also go on YouTube and check a day in the life of a pharmacologist. I'm sure you should find something on that or things, other videos on that, like someone showing their day-to-day -day life. And also check a day in the life of a pharmacist. It will give you an idea of what goes on day-to-day -day as a more practical, real-life experience, okay? I wish you all the best and I hope this video at least helped clear your doubts. Do take care and I'll see you all in another video. Video. Drop video suggestions for me that you want me to film. Alright, bye.